but this show is a real departure. It really is uh, a departure. It's a sense of him really getting onto the skin of his uh, of his subject matter. This work can only come from Malaysia. There's something very Malaysian about these paintings, and um, and at the same time, they speak to all Malaysians. And I feel very privileged that he's working with us, and he's you know one of our artists, and we've had the you know it's been a privilege really. Basically, kind of negotiating my way through the kind of complex realities of uh, living in a modern world, not necessarily just Malaysia, but living in a modern world. And uh, we have a wonderful template here for, for complexity, complex realities. And uh, I, I, I kind of think it's, it's, it's quite healthy, it's quite wonderful. You have to embrace it, I think, a little bit. You know? uh, and I think that's what I've done with this work. And a lot of the work actually shows a lot that is of a very middle class and comfortable. That's another thing I love about this show, that it begins to deconstruct the world of a middle class, safe, comfortable haven in which this artist was brought up. Uh, and a whole series of events, some political, some cultural, some social, some autobi autobiographical and personal, that have made him look at his life very critically uh, and then deconstruct uh, all of that and, and go out and search for the real life that is out there. And I think what, what um, struck me when I saw on his work um, was how they force us to look at not only the work but also the artist behind it and mm -hmm. also to look at ourselves. And in, in many respects, it's Anu's work, particularly this body of work that has come out this time, um, is painful but in the positive sense. Painful in the sense that there is, uh, one evidently sees that there is a lot of labour into it. Labour in the sense of self-questioning, asking questions about who and what we are Malaysians as a nation and how we've come to, to where we are today. And I like that. I, li I find that honestly refreshing um, in the context of what's happening in Malaysia because there is a need for such honest art that forces us to look at ourselves much closer. I've, I've, it, it's the third installment in a, a group of exhibitions that have very much tried to explore the notion again. It's very autobiographical, mm -hmm. so it's about how I fit, really. Mm -hmm. And this body of work, I mean, it's, I've always been a, a painter and something else as well. You know, I've, I've done the whole uh, curatorial path and I've done the writing path as well as an art writer. Uh, but this is when I'm the bravest, I think, as an artist in my studio, uh, completely quite unfettered uh, by, by the boundaries of, you know. Uh, and of course, having been in the press, uh, the whole idea of working within boundaries, mm -hmm. and I think my work actually finds its strength in that, to say things that I want to say, but to always be conscious of uh, Malaysian's favorite word, sensitivities, you know, of being slightly conscious of that. Not to let it rule the work, but to be aware that uh, whatever you say affects a large uh, segment of people, you know, uh, who are all different. And that's why I love this work. I mean, I don't think it's Indian-centric, but I think you've got to paint what you know or make what you know. You have to immerse yourself in the subject matter and uh, the autobiographical as a legitimate voice of history uh, is what I'm trying to, to play with.
you know, going to his studio and chatting to him has always been the highlight of um, highlight of, of, of what I do. And to see each and every work that he's making, to understand what has gone into it, to see the beginning of it, then the middle of it, and then the final product and the final piece that he's come up with, the development of the artist from beginning of the show to the end um, is overwhelming. He said, I'm very happy to be here because of all the exhibitions I've seen this year, this has been the most powerful exhibition uh, mm. I've come across, I, that I've seen in Malaysia. And I'm very happy to say, at the re, you know, without being patriotic, I'm very happy to say that you know, Malaysia can still produce you know, really good, critical, you know, objective art like this. And that, that's what art is all about. And that's what the artist is meant to do. That is full of strident, uh, kind of chest beating on so many things. I think this kind of approach a very nuanced, a very intelligent, uh, a very deeply felt uh, approach to exploring the contradictions in our society is really, really remarkable.